Live from the studios of KMBY Television in Monterey, California, it's Monterey On Tonight with Gary Morris. Three hours of your favorite classic music videos from yesterday and today. Telephone and in-studio guests. And a few surprises along the way. And now, here's your host, Gary Morris. Well, I was just talking with Sharda about D- Dua Lipa and the fact that we're keeping our fingers crossed that she doesn't say anything nasty in her songs tonight. Dylan has, thank goodness for Dylan, he's gone through now and checking all the lyrics of the song she's going to be singing tonight to make sure, Sharda, that we are in good shape. Good, good thing. Yeah. <laughs> so we can keep our FCC license. Anyway, this is Sharda Ryan. Welcome, Sharda. She's my first guest on Monterey on tonight, and she is a ad- financial advisor. Now, what does that mean, financial advisor? Well, I think she can help families, and uh, it says right here you can help families and women develop and achieve goals that are unique to their financial picture. What's that mean? Sure. So uh, I specialize in helping women with their financial um, wellness and goals. And um, because I feel that there are many, uh, you know, dynamics around um, finances and women that um, that they need particular help with. And me being a woman and um, have been a single mother before, um, I understand firsthand how to navigate those. And that's a difficult thing to navigate, isn't it? Right. Yeah, Yeah, it was definitely um, difficult for me when I was a single woman, you know, and a single mother, because um, they don't usually teach you those kinds of things. Yeah, that's not something you can go learn in school. So when you find a client Mm -hmm. um, and you like to work with women, Mm -hmm. so you're wanting to help them, you get the client uh, into your office. What is where do you start? How do you how do you help someone with wealth management? Where do you start, Charlotte? Sure. So we look at um, their total picture as far as anything that can, um, you know, affect them financially. So you look at their age, um, anyone that they care for. That could be um, siblings, children, you know, parents. Um, We look at what their specific goals are. Like, oh, well, I want to, you know, retire at age 65. I want to provide a home for my children um at some point so we just look and find out exactly what their needs are and their goals are um we'll do a deep dive into everything so that means all the statements all of the um, legal documents all of the you know checking account everything everything yes what what their financial picture is exactly and you dig down deep into that and then you make your recommendations Mm -hmm. based on the information that you get from them So give me an example of where you would start helping someone financially. What what do you do first? Mm -hmm. Sure. So, um, you know, the most recent person that I've helped here, uh, she's about 40 year old, you know, single mother um, of a child who's just graduated from high school. So, um, you know, she's a high earner. Um, she got a lot of her salary and stock options, so there were some tax consequences there. She wanted to make sure that her uh, son's college was paid for. Um, she wanted to make sure that if anything happened to her that he was taken care of properly. Um, so I just looked to see, okay, what do you have? And based on what you have and what your goals are, Um, What are my recommendations going forward, right? Now, would that mean you're talking about helping her with the future? Would that mean that you would suggest insurance? Mm -hmm. That she covers some of uh, the base with insurance? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are products out there that can definitely help with those type of things. Um, We looked at life insurance if something were to happen to her. Um, Looked at all of her property and casualty Mm -hmm. insurance, make Mm -hmm. sure she was covered there. Um, But yeah, starting with insurance and the risk, um, managing that risk and covering that risk, that's where we start with financial planning. Mm -hmm. And usually this takes how long now after you take that deep dive down and look at 
all of the materials that they present to you. Mm -hmm. How long does it take you to make an assessment where you can make your recommendations? Mm -hmm. So usually I can make recommendations pretty quick. Pretty quick. Yeah. So the first um, meeting is always consultative and mm -hmm. um, that's free. And then um, after that, we get back together and I let them know what my recommendations are, what my fee is and how we can, you know, charge for that advice. And then just let them know, um, you know, it'll probably take anywhere between three to five meetings initially to get the plan up and running, but that it's a long term relationship mm -hmm. that we meet, you know, two to three, four times a year, whatever they need in their life um, to make sure that they're making those right decisions along the way to keep their plan in place. How many times do you find someone now that really needs someone like you, but they haven't adventured out to find someone like you mm -hmm. because they they just haven't met someone like you how does that happen how do you make contact with people who really need your services yeah initially um, many of my clients come to me through referral so okay. somebody who I've already helped um, will refer me someone that they know or someone that I work with in the community who knows me was work side by side with me, you know, say at like Rotary or um, in the other nonprofits I work with, they um, will like vouch for me and introduce mm -hmm. me to someone else. Yeah. And they, they tell uh, those folks, get a hold of Sharda <laughs> because she can help you. Right. And it's going to be one of the things that will benefit you immensely is having wealth management. You know, we've had a couple of other folks on this show that are in wealth management, but you, I think, are specifically targeting women because you feel that they are that category that needs it the most. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Many times, um, you know, women tend to um, statistically they live longer. Um, they their their spouse or partner will you know, die before them. Mm -hmm. And in that mean, in that, um, before that, they're also more likely to be the caregiver to caring for their spouse. And so their health suffers as well. So there's just so many, so many things. Yeah. And then traditionally, you know, um, and it's been, it's been changing generationally, which is nice, but, um, you know, traditionally the women took care of like the home and yes. say raising the children and the, um, and the husband, and the husband took care of the money part, yeah, right? The financial, part. the financial piece. Um, and I find that a lot with some uh, widows that I help here recently, where it's like, my husband took care of everything. What do I do? What I'm do lost. I do? And how do I do it? And right. where do I start? Exactly. There's mm -hmm. so many things to, to learn about. How do we find you, uh, Sharda? Is there a uh, website? Is there a phone number that mm -hmm. they can reach out and get you? Yeah. My website is wealthdesigngroup.com. And um, you can find me right there on our About Us page. Yeah, uh -huh. there it is. Building financial freedom. And um, right there. About us, okay. Is my uh, bio and okay. um, my phone number. And then also, if you'd like to schedule an appointment, either virtually or in per in person, you can do that with that Meet Sharda button. Mm -hmm. How uh, long have you been doing this? How long have you been in this business? Sure, I've been in financial services since 2007. Okay, mm -hmm. well, that's a pretty long time. Yeah. <laughs> You've been doing it a while. Been through the global financial crisis, been uh, through the pandemic. Yeah, I so. went through that one too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back in 07, 08, 09. Definitely. Yeah, it was a teeth. tough time. Yeah. That was a tough time. And you've been here on the peninsula all this time? So uh, two years. My husband, oh. yeah, he, my husband was um, born and raised in Marina. Okay. And, so he um, came home. He wanted to come back to wanted the Central Coast. Wanted to come Coast. back. Okay. But yeah. prior to that, where were you living? Sacramento. Mm -hmm. Okay. So over in the hot San Joaquin Valley. Exactly. Like me. Yeah. <laughs> Fresno. <laughs> it's hot there. It gets warm over there. So you've enjoyed being back on the uh, Central Coast? Yes. We love it. He we has. Love, we love, yeah. Well, yes, he definitely yeah. loves yeah. it. But we love Salinas and we have two dogs and I just became a grandmother about oh, a year ago. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. So, so it's nice loving, to be here. Yeah, we love the Central Coast. Yeah, well, we it's so nice to dogs. have you on the air yeah, here to the tonight. You've been in this industry since 2007 and um, you currently live in Salinas with your husband, Nate, and two dogs. Yep. Do you want to give us the names of the two dogs? So it's Roxy and Moreno. Roxy and Moreno. Mm -hmm. Oh, how great. And what kind of dogs are they? Because I'm curious. I'm a Yorkie guy. Oh, yeah. Well, we got them from um, Hitchcock. Oh. So we got Roxy when we first um, moved because we really I needed a, a new dog. 
um, new house, new dog, right? And we got her from Hitchcock. She's a um, black, we think like pit bull boxer mix. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then um, just a year after that, we got her a dog, <laughs> Moreno. And he's probably like a um, box and ter- bo- what is it? A Boston Terrier? Yeah. Boston Terrier. Kind right. of. Pug, maybe yeah. pit bull mix in there somewhere. I so, love my dogs. So mutts, but yes, they're sweethearts. And she is also part of the Salinas Rotary. Yes. And mm-hmm. I spoke to the Salinas Rotary. I don't know whether you yeah. were there that day. That's were where you I there? met you. Exactly. Yeah, we yeah. met at the Rotary. Great group of people there in Salinas at the Salinas Rotary. And is Mark still the uh, president? Mark Coyman? No. We have a, um, a new switch one over. Yeah, Whoa, we have a switch over, over on July ah, 1st. July so now when? it's Brenda Granillo. Well, I have to come and meet Brenda. Yes. Brenda? Is it Brenda? Brenda. I have to come meet Brenda. Mm-hmm. Maybe you'll invite me to be a guest at your next Rotary. I think I know someone who can help you with that. There yeah. you go. See that? <laughs> That's how I, I conjure out of a free lunch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here Thank tonight. You. It's great to have you on the air. Great to have you part of Monterey on tonight. And uh, again, put that screen up, Dylan, so they can find Sharda. It's um, right there somewhere, Dylan, right? There it is. There I am. There you are. Okay. <laughs> can you give us the phone number just uh, offhand? Uh, the phone number that's on screen, is that your cell? 916 That's our office number. Oh, that's the office. Okay. Right. So I work remote, but our um, home office is in... Sacramento. Okay. So, All right. You know the magic of technology. I, I answer the office phone at my house. You can be anywhere today. <laughs> right. I know. I love it. Technology. Uh, Zoom. What would we do without <laughs> Zoom? I think Zoom happened because of the uh, the pandemic, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It definitely changed the world. It really did. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Charter, for being here tonight. Thank you. Okay, we're going to get back to more Dua Lipa. Ooh. With Gary's fingers crossed (laughs) that she doesn't do anything nasty. (laughs) That's what happens because I chose someone really young for the show tonight. And I didn't realize is when I walked in, Dylan said, did you check the lyrics? I said, no. Well, we better check the lyrics. Okay. Let's go see more Dua Lipa.